Thank you for choosing QPlayer. To get the most out of QPlayer, please watch the entire video. To begin, let's add a few videos to QPlayer. Videos can be added from websites or from your local hard drive. First of all, let us add a few videos from our computer. This can be done by dragging and dropping video files into the player. You can drop individual videos or multiple videos as a selection. Dropping a folder containing a video file will also add these videos to the playing queue. Now let's add some videos from websites such as YouTube and Facebook. To do this, the queue player extension must be installed. This extension will add a button to videos which can be played in queue player. Left click this button to add videos to the queue. Right click this button to play the videos immediately. Videos added to queue player can be viewed in the playing queue by opening the sidebar. To do this, click the menu icon in the top right hand corner. Queue player will play the videos inside this queue in sequence. The sequence of the queue player can be changed by dragging the video. Videos previously played in queue player can be viewed by opening the history tab. Videos are organized by date and can be minimized and expanded by clicking on the date heading. Each video has a selection of buttons which allow you to download the video, go to the website, the video was retrieved, add to the queue, play now and remove from history. Now that you have the hang of how to add videos to the player and view the queue in history, let's customize the player. To do this, open the setting sidebar. Here you can see three subheadings. Customize the player's look by changing the primary, secondary and icon colors. Customize video playback with the queue settings. Pick up where you left off, will reload your previously queued videos and will resume playback after last closing the queue player. This option will never clear the queue and videos must be manually removed from the queue. Loop queue will never stop playback and will continuously loop over the queue. Start at will start each video playback at the selected time. This is useful when watching TV shows if you like to skip the intro. End at, similar to start at, will end the video at the selected time before the video end time. For example, if you select 10 seconds here, a video length of 1 minute will end at 50 seconds. Customize QPlayer's history by selecting the max amount of videos QPlayer will save. Set this to zero if you do not wish to record your history or to clear the history. Now let's have a look at the player itself. Play, pause, next, previous and set volume can be done using the leftmost icons. Play, pause can also be done by clicking the video. The video queue can be cast to your TV using Chromecast using the Chromecast icon. This icon will only display if a Chromecast is connected to the network your device is on. Queue player can be pinned to always sit on top of another window using the layered icon. This feature is useful for when watching videos while multitasking if you have little screen space. Full screen can be toggled using the far right button and by also double clicking the video. If you experience any issues with QPlayer, please don't hesitate to contact our team at qplayer at gmail.com.